Sandwiches are being served. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the St. Vincent de Paul Thrift Store in Cambridge. It's in a mall. It has a corner entrance. There is um, accessible parking right at the door. I think there were two parking spots. You can see the clothing price list here. This is for the men's and women's. There's a different one for the children. It's a fair size store and close to a third to a half is furniture and they're nice looking furniture. Some of it's antique. Here's the children's. There's a significant section of clothing. They didn't have a huge selection in the way of Hawaiian shirts. I'll be upfront with that. There are some that you could use possibly as business attire in Hawaii, but most likely not. We'll be seeing that in a moment. They've got quite the uh, grouping of sets of ceramic dishes. They even had a washer and dryer. Or is it two dryers? I'm not sure anymore. You have a center, a dividing area. There's a, they had a nice clock there. It was selling for $30, as you can see in the next image. That's not a high-end one, but it's a nice looking clock. If you're looking for a, a mantle clock of some sort. Here's some of the furniture. As I said, there's quite a bit. There's a significant collection of, of shoes that they have. There's a small portion of that. It's actually got its own aisle and back of the uh, one of the aisles. They've uh, got quite a few LPs and some smaller discs as well. Gift uh, greeting cards are available there. A uh, collection of uh, games and toys, board games. They have recorded music like CDs. They have quite a few books. They have video, uh, whether it's DVD or VHS. And it, and one area, they've got some really lovely looking uh, glass and not nicer ceramic uh, actually porcelain you'll be seeing that shortly here's one of the sets that they had a limoges 44 pieces for 80 dollars i'm not saying they always have these but and by the time you see this they may not have may not be there any longer but you get an idea of what kind of items that they get at this store that was more the issue here And uh, this is a uh, Royal Dalton, I think it was. You'll see that in the next image as to what exactly it is. Ro oh, Royal Albert Chelsea Bird. My apologies on misstating it first. Here's another one. It does have a sign as well. We'll be seeing that in a moment. Lambeth Ware, Royal Dalton. Here's the Royal Dalton. Norfolk. They've got a pretty good idea of what kind of prices some of these items go for. A nice duck and um, there's actually a a, um, a whale behind it. It's diving in. 
some more of the shoes, some, some of the clothes, and some furniture. Um, it has to do with how I was able to access how I also some there were some other customers in the store. And there's the extensive row of shoes again. Some of the artwork they have. Decorative cushions, the children's clothing. Oh, this is men's and women's. Sorry. We do find some things of interest. One's a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt one. And a pineapple motif. Not a bad choice. Uh, if you're not looking for a for the more formal button-up type the glassware and then we're into the shoes and purses here with scarves <clears throat> some of the children's books in this in that case uh, some of the clothing is uh, double level if they're shorter items so the clothing and shoes are side by side these are as I said, closer to being a business attire in Hawaii. I'm not saying they are, but would be closer to that. They aren't Hawaiian in any way, shape, or form, but yeah, something to show you at least. They're more interesting shirts than just plain white. There's a separate one, it's more of a floral motif. see them on the rack to a certain degree. Some of the electronics they had on offer. There's some of the discs, the CDs, the DVDs. They have a selection of ceramics there. Some of the glass and ceramics and porcelain there. So we're into the pants with the glassware behind it. And the books. The whole corner for that. And the decorative pillows are more extensive. Their children's shoes and children's clothing are kept separately. Interesting, uh, I think it's candle holder, or candlestick if you wish. Interesting love seat that you saw there, no cushions on it. You could use it without. We were searching for those Hawaiian shirts, but to no avail. They had some larger and more expensive items that they'd placed in this central island. Some were a little more unusual, useful to someone, no doubt. Artwork lamps, some more of the furniture. You're looking across the whole store at this point. A substantial selection of furniture. High boys are there as well. Decorative items that, and we're back to the shoes. I, I took a couple of times to get to the all of the shoes because there were folks browsing very intently at some of the some of the offerings and 
and the I think it's milk glass is what it's called with a nice uh, pattern on it there were three three plates three cups small desk and there's the price for the small desk I think they put on the date so they know how long it's been there As you may see the same on an, the next one a set of uh, a table with four chairs they do try to sell them as a set and this one's been there a bit longer lovely lounge it would be nice to have but I just don't have space for it hope somebody did pick it up I hope they didn't quite pay that much hopefully they were able to get a reduced price on it nice looking though this is one of the unusual items that they had in that central island air purifier I looked at the information on it I was wasn't convinced anyway they've also got all these bits of jewelry they've got locked up he asked for assistance they are lovely looking pieces that they have nicely displayed they're not crowded and some of the other items that are a bit larger they are in a related cabinet there the ones that are outside of the cabinets are more likely to be costume jewelry and easier to access and there's your prices for them I won't tell you if it's good or bad because I'm not in the market I'm not I don't do that as a anyway as a mark item is the area at the exit it's almost unfortunately you can't get to it without going past the cashier and then it's kind of too late and just to confirm that we were at the St. Vincent de Paul Society thrift store in Cambridge. Thanks for watching. Hope you appreciated this. We'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe, perhaps even a mark on the bell so you'll be notified of the next video as it comes out. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.